Ukrainian forces are intensifying their battle for Donetsk, uh, the rebel stronghold of a million people in eastern Ukraine. On Monday, Ukraine said it took the town of Yasinovata, which has a railroad hub that's been serving as a critical supply line for the separatists. Soon, Ukraine hopes to have Donetsk completely surrounded. The battle for Donetsk could turn out to be bloody and cause many civilian casualties. We've already seen hints of that over the weekend. Several towns in eastern Ukraine reported civilian deaths as a result of fighting hitting residential areas, in particular in the city of Luhansk, which is the second largest rebel stronghold. Three civilians were reported killed in a 24-hour period over the weekend. We're also seeing continuing tensions with Russia. Both sides have been accusing each other of firing across the border. Both Ukraine and Russia continue to deny that they're doing that. Meanwhile, on Monday, uh, Ukraine said that Ukrainian troops stationed near the border with Russia had actually gone over to the Russian side in order to, uh, in order to escape a rebel encirclement. Russia says 438 Ukrainian troops have surrendered. Ukraine says it's working diplomatic channels to get those troops back. The one bit of progress we've seen over the weekend has been at the Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 crash site. Dutch and Australian experts were able to, for the first time, spend three days in a row, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, collecting uh, human remains and uh, personal belongings. A flight carrying those human remains is expected to fly from Kharkiv in Ukraine to the Netherlands later on Monday.